YouTube Diesel Dan Peters here. So, uh, got some brand new lights for this trailer. Those look a lot nicer than what I had on there, including the wiring. The wiring on this thing is atrocious, just telling you right now. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. This is, uh, this is the wiring that I have on this trailer right now. Um, I don't know who in their right mind made this, but it is just kind of sad. Um, it was a good try at rewiring this thing without actually pulling out the original wires, but oh, it's just a bit of a nightmare. So uh, what we're going to do is, that's, that's my main goal for today. We're going to rewire this whole thing. Don't know how long it's going to take because I've never done a rewiring job like this before but uh it's definitely time the time is now yep and uh i guess i'll put you guys on the time lapse so uh, that way you don't have to see me for however long it would have been otherwise so let's give this a shot Hey YouTube, Diesel Dan Peters here. Uh, so, that's it. It's done, 100% done. Um, paint is dry at this point. Um, lights are all good now. No problems with the lights. Um, I'll go to this side. I feel like showing you guys my license plates all the time. But yeah, no, it looks really good. They're LEDs, nice and bright. Um, yeah, I think it came out pretty well for what it was. Um, again, it's got the brand new tires on it. I think it's still, yeah, it still has the little, uh, nipplings on the side. So that shows you how new these tires really are. Uh, even the spare is brand new. So I think this trailer will ser serve me pretty well. 
hopefully at least. Um, tell me what you guys think. Paid three hundred dollars for it. Um, lights were twenty five. Wiring harness was nine uh, nine dollars. Most of the bed liner I got for free. I think the only thing I paid for was the rust inhibitor for the underside of it. Uh, and that was, I think I paid $20, $23. So you guys can do the math. It's like maybe $350-ish that I have into it. So not bad for a uh, little 4x7 trailer with the title. You know, most of these you find for that price. No title. Uh farm use only kind of thing and I, I didn't want to deal with that so um, I think I definitely lucked out with that so tell me what you guys think and here it is in all its little glory nothing special again just a little trailer um, I don't know I think I can if I wanted to resell it I think I could easily get like five maybe even six hundred dollars around here no it sounds like it's pushing it but this is back when they made the trailers to be actually heavy duty and uh not just fall apart the second you uh try to try to use it so hoping my harley fits on here but we'll see i might have to do some customizations on it to fit it nicely uh, but we'll see it might just fit fine for all i know so stay tuned for that we'll see if a 4x7 trailer works for fitting the harley uh, I do know that the tailgate is made to actually stay up, so I could always just leave it kind of hanging off the rear a little bit, and I think that would be fine, so uh, maybe I'll even make a custom tailgate or like cut, cut the rear of it, that way I can just do that. Uh, the only problem is then I can't just drive it up with this. Uh, I'd have to use ramps, which would be fine. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Definitely more content on the way. Um, yeah, but I think that's about it, though. So, uh, that's all for now. Diesel Dan Peters, signing out. Again, for now.